Yo, swiggity swag, my swiggity schmucks. Welcome back to Friday Friday, and check it out. Not a big surprise. Actually, it's a little bit of a surprise. This is my Super Duke. I have not had this for a few weeks, and this is going to sound really dumb, but I have not really inspected it since it came back, because my friend Jordan, whose YouTube channel I will link if I don't forget, if I forget, remind me, took my bars, my crash bars, and got them both painted, because, as you probably know, I laid the bike down a few months ago, and it was scratched, and it was bad, and I'm looking at this and wondering what that is. That's supposed to be plugged in, bro! See, this is what I mean by I didn't even look at it. This would have been a smat thing to do before I took off today. But uh, nobody has to know. Click. Cl click. So close. Click. There we go. Click. All right. Let's pretend that didn't happen. This bar end actually got ground too. So um, there was like a perfectly uh, ground out plane of about this far up. And um, so this bar was like $30 or something. And he went and replaced that for me too, even though he didn't have to because it worked just fine. The hardware still works, so I didn't replace it. But he went and replaced that for me. And the chain. Yeah, the chain. God, I got a huge freaking freaking one. So glad it's not gold, but that thing is beefy and expensive. So now the bike is back up to standard. And dude, let me say, I've had a good day so far. I went and rode for like an hour on the highway and I'll tell you about that but it involved three awesome things one this bike haven't had it for a few weeks Spike is the best bike ever two it's 60 freaking eight right now minus the clouds it's perfect weather and number three is something I'll rant about after I take off the third thing that happened on that ride was and this is a secret but you know what I want to tell you anyway Rurock sent me the brand new Atlas 2.0 helmet. The very first one. Again, because I'm special and I feel special. No, they sent me, um, they're updating the Atlas helmet. This one right here. This is the Atlas. They're releasing the Atlas 2.0 soon. And I got one of the first ones. So my quest is to get it, test it, and review it for you guys. To tell you what the differences are and tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. So obviously I had to test it. And I really specifically wanted to go very fast with it. So I think well, I'm gonna go on the highway today. I'll wear that, so I'll wear that for an hour. And I didn't want to put a camera on it because I wanted to leave the helmet exactly as it is. I, short version, am so happy about it. Specifically, when I took that off just a bit ago and put this one back on, I missed the new one. I was like, I missed that helmet. I wanna wear that one now. It's, it's better, obviously. It's better in, yeah, I can't think of a way in which it became worse. It's, it's everything that it changed is better. It's a much better helmet and I cannot wait to get the, uh, this is a big lot of traffic. I can't wait to get the new version of this one in black um, and replace this one. When I replace this one, I'm gonna replace it with a 2.0 and put the, these uh, helmet parts on there and that'll be my new one and I'm, I'm so happy about it because it's just e. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna talk about it too much. Just wanna let you know that I was testing it out today when I got more testing to do, and reviewing to do, and sometime this month, I will have the helmet and I will make a review video for you if you're interested in the updated Atlas. Oh, I didn't see it. I did the thing. There you go. <laughs> I miss this bike too, man. Oh, this is my favorite bike ever. I mean, you know, I've ridden the Zixter the past couple weeks and that's been fun and all. And I do like that bike and I'm glad I have it. But this one is mm, so good. Oh. Uh, yeah, last night from today was the Super Bowl. I watched the Super Bowl, and you recall the past week or two, I predicted that the Chiefs would win, and that I tried to take credit for the fact that I predicted that weeks ago, but I didn't actually go into, into the record until recently. But yeah, the Chiefs won, and it was a fun game. I don't know if you care about the game or you watched it, but very quickly, first half, they were tied. The third quarter, the Chiefs sucked, and we're like, well, that's it, it's over. And the fourth quarter, they inched their way back up, and then they wanted to like, mother of God, they did it. And my best friend, Zach, who's huge into football, I told him weeks ago that the Chiefs are going to win. He's the only one who knows that I predicted that. And so when the, as soon as the Chiefs won, he texted me, because you called it, bro. Good job. And I was like, yeah. Anyway, so all that me grandiosing aside, I'm glad that they won, but it also sucks that, you know, I wasn't there. It's like the one year. Anyway, anyway, the Chiefs won, so that's pretty cool. And as soon as they won, we were like, you know, it's probably never gonna happen again. <laughs> they're probably never gonna win any other games, so that was cool to watch. Wow, they're still there. I saw that car there uh, earlier today when I rode with the 
special helmet, but uh, I guess they're still there. So now I feel bad. Oh, never mind. There's a car with flashing yellow lights, so they're good. Yeah, it's got a flare. I want flares. It's so cool. For no reason. I'll just be like, she'd be like going into Battlefield 3, like this on my motorcycle holding the flare. I wonder if that'd be illegal. I think that would be. I don't know why. Holding a flare while driving a vehicle. Like, what if you're holding out the window of your car? Is that illegal? And if it's illegal, why is it illegal? Flares aren't illegal. Is it in, uh, unsafe driving? Is that what they get you for? Because both hands are on the wheel, both hands are on the bars? I don't know. I've, I've never seen it, but then again, not everyone's as stupid as I am, so... I don't know. I think it'd be cool looking. Whoosh! Oh, I just imagined. All right, so... <laughs> it's not a good story, but here I go. For some reason, I can't remember when, but I very randomly thought of having gummy lifesavers. I haven't had those since I was a kid. I didn't see them. I didn't see... I just thought of it randomly. I was like, gummy lifesavers. Those are awesome. I want some. So the other day, probably last week, I went to the store, and when I was there, I thought, I'm going to find some gummy lifesavers. I'm going to get them. So I found the bag of gummy lifesavers. Had them, but those were really good. I'm glad I got those. But there were other flavors. I was like, I'm going to go back and try. So there's four different bags that I saw. There's original I believe there's tropical there's fusion which is like two flavors in one so half the ring is one flavor half the ring is the other and the fourth one is sour lifesavers sour gummy lifesavers and I've had all four and they're all good but I knew for a fact those fusion ones with the half and half those were the best ones it's like they're awesome because I hate cherry and there's cherry in like all of them except the fusion it's supposedly half cherry half watermelon but that one doesn't taste like cherry at all i love all of them i was like yes so then i had all four of those and then i, then I went back and i got the fusion again hey i know that bro oh my gosh i gotta say hi i know him i don't know if he'll recognize me but that is walt I don't think he knows who I am. <laughs> Dang it! I feel bad. I feel sad. He doesn't know who I am. I mean, he knows who I am, but I guess he doesn't know my bike, so I feel stupid. That guy is super cool, and he's reading my lifesaver gummy story, which is great because that wasn't a good story. Okay, so here's the thing about Walt. That is a rare McLaren, and he'll tell you all about it. It says six or six on the back. I saw the car. I was like, I recognize that car, and then I saw the plate. Like, it's him. So his name is Walter which is crazy. I call him Walt because that's what people call him. So he's Walt and Walter. Anyway, I met him at a car's of coffee and he mentioned one day, I think I told this story before, but that's him. I, he said one day, I have a lot of garage space. If you need to keep your bike somewhere, I'll be happy to let you stay there. I'm like, that's really nice. Thanks. I appreciate it. I can't imagine why I would need to do that. But if I ever need room, I'll let you know. And then one day I needed a place to put my RA and I said, Hey, remember how you offered to park somewhere? I would really love it if I could put my car at your house. He's like, absolutely. Come park it on my driveway. So my car has been at his place for like the past couple months and he's been really nice and hosting it there. So that's how I know him. And he's, he's nice, like I said, and I really wish he recognized me so he could wave back. I mean, he gave me one of these, which is just generic if someone's trying. I look like some kind of supercar guy come by and get to go fast, show how fast I am. And I did, I did this, but then he was like, hey, what's up? But if he recognized me, he would have waved. Anyway, the moral of the story is, the Fusion Lifesavers are the best ones. I've had them twice, and now I want to go to the store for a third time and get them again. The end. I should go ahead and mention this. Um, I wanted a different game to play, and I thought, I want to play Minecraft, but if I do Minecraft again, and I'm not really into that game, I don't know it very well, I'm a noob. I thought, if I do it again, I'm going to get a server so that I can host fans if they want to play. So I have a server on Minecraft right now. Um, the address is pretty easy. If I were to write this in the address, or in the description, I will. It's waltersworld.serverminer.com. Um, so it's open, it's, it hosts up to 100 people. Um, there's usually only over like 10 people in there at a time, but it's fun to just kind of play in the world. Where am I going? I'm getting lifesavers. And uh, if you want to join, it's, you know, free to join and play. Uh, so again, it's waltersworld.servermy.com. That's where I'm spending most of my time these days. And that's all I have to say about that. Hopefully I'll see you in there. Oh, what a good day. But it's about to become an even more better one because I'm about to get gummy lifesavers by going through to this one. Ooh, yes. ah. Okay, um, yeah, I'll be back. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. They freaking don't have it here. It's at that other 
prissy grocery store so I'm gonna have to and yes I have to because I said I would I've created a quest for myself and this day is great and I said it's gonna get better the only way for it to get better is for me to go to that other store so I'm going there to get some freaking gummies good news is we can get there so freaking fast faster than my all right and I bet if I'm not gonna cause too controversy get there faster than that McLaren can look at the speed bump Oi! 30 miles an hour no problem and the all right I gotta do like 10 I'm so scared of bumps in that car. I wish I could just park up on the sidewalk. I mean, I could physically. <laughs> it doesn't stop me. But I won't because I'm a good little piggy. Gosh darn it. Is there a good little piggy parking? I guess that's a good little piggy parking over there. That's, which pig do I want to be? This one. Okay. Which pig do I want to be? The good one. I thought I was going nose in, but I changed my mind the last minute. I want to back in. I almost, almost always back in, unless like the parking spaces are angled in such a way that they expect you to go nose in and you like physically have no room to turn around to back in. I'll always back in um, because, okay, now I'll be back again. Okay, I got my snack and I decided that I am going home because what's the point of a snack if you can't eat it? I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.